So in this video, he was talking about something about coming off the street and going into prison and the street beef that you've got, you're bringing it into prison, yeah? So you might have beef with them man from over there and then them man from over there, certain of them man they are in prison and you just kind of continue in the beef and it's just mad or whatever, really. But one thing he didn't mention, which I thought he would have mentioned, is like bandwagoning on to other man's beef in it. So basically, like, imagine when I went to jail, yeah? I was paddled up with one Newt from Woolwich, yeah? Now, he was involved as well, like, he was beefing Newt's from Thamesmead and Cherry Gang, which are in Ch Cherry Orchard, um, Charlton and that, yeah? So he's a Woolwich Newt. He's got beef with people from Thamesmead, people from Ferrier, people from... Uh, Cherry Orchard, which is in Charlton, yeah? Now, if you're padded up with someone and you're generally cool with that guy, you're not just tolerating him because he's your cellmate. Like, my cellmate, John, that I met in Felton, he's the same age as me. Like, he could be one of my guys on the street, yeah? Like, John was cool. He, like, he wrote to me when I left prison and he was still in prison. And then when he came out of jail, like, he, he came out after a week, he phoned me because I left him my number and I kept the same number for years, innit? So John was cool. Now imagine, right, he kicks off beef or he gets into beef with some Cherry Orchard youths or some Thamesmead youths or whatever, innit, yeah? I'm going to have to back him. Like, that's my guy now, innit, yeah? Because, like, me, I don't really believe in this, but, like, man them in jail, yeah? Like, as soon as you're cool with someone, that's it, you have to back them, innit, yeah? Like, hold on a minute. Like, I don't even know you like that. Yeah, well, cool, but I don't mean I'm going to be jumping in and backing your beef or whatever, innit, yeah? But... That's what happens, isn't it? So you can go to jail and end up getting involved in other people's ends wars that ain't got nothing to do with you, isn't it? Yeah? So boom, I could be in jail. I could be with my cellmate from Woolwich, yeah? Him and I are cool now. I remember you're living with this guy, isn't it? It's not just like spending two hours with him here and there. I'm living with him, yeah? Like, I'm living with him for a week. Like, you're getting to know a man or whatever, isn't it? Yeah? So imagine he gets into beef with some cherry orchard juice or whatever, isn't it? Yeah? And we end up winning that fight or whatever, innit? Boom. We've brushed up the use or whatever, innit? Yeah. And it's a hypothetical situation. This did not really happen, yeah. End up brushing up the use or whatever, innit? Yeah. Cool. Now, boom. I've made a name for myself. Oh, there's one new called Jay from Edmonton, yeah? He smacked up my man or whatever, innit? Boom, 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 innit? Yeah. Now, imagine if I go to I when I went to ISIS, I met a man from Cherry Orchard, yeah? I'm sure there were other Cherry Utes in ISIS or whatever. Yeah, I did meet and I met one of the oldest from ISIS, um, from, from Cherry. He was actually in one of the videos, one, one guy called, um, I know his real name, Andre, I don't know what his, his, his I can't remember his tag name, whatever. Yeah. But I met one of the oldest from, from Cherry Gang in, in, um, in, in ISIS, yeah? So he would have been on the oldest wing, which was the Meridian, innit, when I was on Thames, innit? Yeah? Now, imagine if my name got around, like, oh, where are you from? Like, just general chit-chat or whatever. And oh, I'm from Edmonton, innit? Oh, what's your name? Jay. Hold on a minute. That Jay is bandwagoning with them. What did you use beef, innit? All right, boom, on him. Imagine if man want to set pace on me. So I've defended someone. I've defended someone else's beef, yeah? I've got involved in someone's ends war that got nothing to do with me. Then when I'm going to different prisons, I'm meeting um, allies, of certain man that I've smacked up in jail, and now I'm getting in, now 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 I'm involved with 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 with, with them man's beef. What kind of nonsense is that? There's some news um from Lewisham called SG. Yeah, man, them from my area, from Edmonton, told me that they're beating up news from 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 SG from from Lewisham. Like, what the fuck, fam? Like, we're from North London. We don't know about no blue city, no blue bandana youths from Lewisham. Like, why are you even getting involved in, in them lot's beef? Like, just dumbness, fam. Like, we're, we're, nor we're Northern liners, yeah? Like, Edmonton, we're at the top of North London. Like, literally, geographically, we're at the top of North London, yeah? We don't know about fucking Lewisham or nothing like that, yeah? Like, that's a thousand miles away compared... To, to us in here. We we just know about what's going on around the surrounding areas of us in here, the Tottenham's, the Woodgreens, the Hornsies, yeah. The Enfields, stuff like that, in here. Yeah? You're going to jail, and this is what happens, you know what I'm saying. Manny will go to jail, and man now now you're hearing stories, oh this man's beating up this man from 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 SG and Lewisham. Like, what the fuck, fam? 
This is what happens when you go to jail, you start bandwagging in with other people's beef. Next thing you know, you're getting battered by a man that's not even from your area. There's one you, one, one guy, right, on my wing in, in ISIS, yeah? He got battered in his cell, yeah? By four men. Now, this guy was a skinny guy as well, right? He got battered by four henchmen, yeah? Because someone from another wing knew that he was on hatred. So this guy that was on hatred, the skinny guy that was on hatred, had beef with someone from another wing. The person from the other wing knew a few men that was on my wing, yeah? And they and he begged one of the guys that was on my wing and said, I beg you round up a few men and batter that guy, please. Yeah. I beg you in it, begged him. And he said, All right, cool. So a man put out a hit on him, and then during the association, when they opened up all the cell doors, they just wrapped him up. They fucked, they battered him, fucked him up in the cell. Man them that don't have that don't know this guy, you know. They just seen him on the wing, they don't know him. They're beating him up because someone from another wing has put a hit out on him. But what these guys need to realise yeah, is that if this guy really is a someone, the skinny guy who got smacked up, right? Right, okay. So him from this area moved to me and them lot from that area, they all moved to me, innit? All right, so I'm going to put the word out and anytime you don't see these men, get on to them. So... You're getting involved in other people's beef and shit like that. You're making, you know, you're putting a target on your back. Now, more than likely, nothing happened to these guys that smacked him up anyway. But still, man, I, I would never, there's no way, but I don't want to be back in no one's beef, no, no one's ends war, nothing like that. You know, nothing to do with me, fam.